my first time coming to an event like this. And first of all, I think it's really interesting to see generationally the different things that younger people are thinking about. You know, they're 16, 17, I'm 41, and I had no idea that actually they have such a great understanding of things like Ukraine, such a great understanding of people's safety, such a great understanding about how there is such much poverty out there and the cost of living crisis. And I just think I'm really impressed by their maturity and thinking and not realising what these young people actually understand. I mean, it's obviously wonderful to see such a, a demographic across across the UK. Um, obviously, there's a lot more boys here than there are girls, and I think that's just a byproduct of of potentially technology and and the constraints that maybe a lot of girls within tech think that there are issues. But I think projects like this, and also a lot of the mentors and the judges here are women as well. So hopefully, what that then paints the picture is that actually there are multiple skills and multiple roles and jobs within the industry that allows them to do that. But I think in terms of diversity. And, and the groups that are here, um, it's great to see that. And it's great to see so many different people from various different backgrounds being able to bring their thoughts to life. I think people just tend to, especially for minded generation, think that you need to go through the traditional route, so get a degree, maybe even do a master's, and kind of go through graduate entry level jobs. This just proves that that pipeline doesn't work for everyone and we need to diversify our pipeline and our recruitment channels and give people opportunities from different routes and different backgrounds to actually excel because we've seen what, what they've done here and they've done an amazing job. They'll put probably me out of a job soon and I can see some amazing civil servants potentially there in the room. Uh, I think the day has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, the young people have been extremely impressive. It's been really encouraging to see how they've been thinking about public safety. Um, there's some uh, presentations that have been taken into account, things like safety for young women um, and, and um, older women. So that's been really fantastic, seeing uh, those young people thinking through those projects and ideas. In regards to the, how my students have taken on, on this, is one is, is enab enabling them to be creative and think a bit, you know, more than just coding, more than just um, what uh, you know, somebody, a student that is very interested in, in digital skills and, um, and pursuing a career, but also bridging that gap between the general public and upskilling their digital literacy. Um, and also students that from a digital background are taking on a, a project where they've had to link their knowledge to the um, everyday life essentially about how digital transformation can support everybody. I guess the biggest thing for me is we work with these young people for about 12 to 15 weeks and unfortunately what I can never show is what they're like at the beginning and what they're like at the end and they have just stood in front of 130 people and presented their solutions. Every solution was different and it was to do with something personal like the cost of living crisis that mattered to them and their family. They've shown empathy, they've shown reflection, they've shown skills in digital that blow everybody's minds away, but most of all, they've shown kind of resilience in presenting in front of all these people. And I am so proud, moved, proud, um, and all the other things that you can think of. And, and I thank the teachers, I thank the colleges, I thank everybody who gets involved because it makes such a difference.